Hey guys, this is Jay. You are watching Hidden Plex Features, and this video is about how to add extras to your Plex library. Let's get started. So, the first thing that you need to do is go to this link. It tells you clear instruction on how to add actual extras to your Plex library. And this is directly from Plex, so it should be nice and clear and should work perfectly if you just follow it. So, you can just do it on your own, or you can just continue watching this video and just watch as I'm doing it. So let's see, this is talking about local media assets. Local media assets just means stuff that you have on your hard drive. So if you want uh, the extras, like uh, if you want to stream your extras, you got to pay for the Plex Pass, and then you automatically have all those extras onto your um, onto your library. Those extras are not as good as the one that you have on your Blu-rays because you have deleted scenes, you have behind the scenes, and you have all these cool little videos on the Blu-ray, but you don't have it on the Plex Pass extras because they can't physically actually get those extras. Right? So if you want to add your own, this is the way you do it. So let me just this. Okay. So I want to add. An extra to limitless right so go to limitless where you have it go to the folder and your extras should be right in that folder so don't have an extra folder that actually says extras if you put all the extras in here it's not gonna work it has to be in the main folder so let me get this right here this is an extra I'm just gonna put it in Right? That's all you have to do, and it should transfer. The really important thing is to make sure that you have the labeling correct. So, wait, let me go back to this. So, you see all the labels right here, right? This is an extra type. So, it talks about behind the scenes, deleted, future, whatever. You have to label it exactly how it is. You have to have lower caps, you have to spell it correctly, make sure you have the S at the end. And then make sure you have the dash and everything. So if you spell it exactly right, no space, low caps, it should work fine. So here, I did just that right. So I got the dash and then behind the scenes. That's all you have to do. And then it should work completely fine right after that. Anything before that, it doesn't even matter. Because you can name it whatever you want. This will be the title of the video on Plex. So this will, this is basically what it's going to show on Plex, the name of it. Um, so yeah, should be it. And then if you add it, it should work. If it doesn't work, just give it a few seconds, a few uh, minutes, and it should definitely be there. So this is one way. This is a really simple way. There's another way, which is also simple, but this one you can organize a little better because you can make folders instead of having all the video files in one folder. So if I wanted um, like uh, like a bunch of behind the scenes in one folder or deleted scenes in one folder, right? I can do that. And all you have to do is the same exact thing. Create a folder in the main movie uh, folder. So if it's let's see, I should let's see behind the scenes. That's it. You just have to label it and then put whatever extra you want into that folder. And once you put it into that folder, if you do it this way, you don't have to have this thing, the ending. You can just have the title and it should be fine. But the same as the other one, when you label the folder, it has to look exactly like how they label here, which is pretty simple because all you need is the capital letters for each word and then um, a space in between and then make sure you don't forget the S's where you have S's which is actually all of them so label it just like that and it should work so same exact thing it's just different organization might be easier for some people the other way might be easier for some people it depends so let me go back to plugs and I'll show you if it works there we go, making of limitless behind the scenes. Same exact one. Yep. 
same title, same everything, we're completely fine. So that's it. It's really simple, it's really quick, and if you just follow the instructions, you should have no problem. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, it will really help because I'm just starting off and you know, really want to help people. If you have any questions, just say something in the comment section. If you want another tutorial or a tip or something from me in another video that you're not sure of, or if you're wondering how to do this, or if it's possible to do something like this, just leave your suggestions in the comment. I'll try to do the video on the next one, and see you next time.